Hello everyone, I'm Dylan and I'm going to be doing a noise comparison test between these three power supplies. This one is a Strymon Zuma. This is the best of the best power supply. You can find these for 250 quid pretty much anywhere in the world. This next one is a Tone City substation. This can be found for about 70, 80 quid on Anderson's. And this is a Donner power supply. Um, you can find loads of different brands making basically the same thing. They're kind of really cheap, kind of 30, 40 quid on Amazon. They're all basically themed on the same thing. I'm not going to be comparing milliamps and voltages and all that kind of stuff. Obviously, in terms of milliamp and voltages, the Strymon runs by a mile. Um, I'm not going to be doing that or sound or anything. This is purely the noise that they're making. And in terms of doing the pedal board, I'm not using, you know, loads of Strymon pedals. This is going to be for people, I can imagine a lot of people like me, using, you know, mostly Boss pedals, you know, MXR. Things that aren't necessarily huge or milliamp hours, so not you know big massive digital delays courses all that kind of effects and stuff um so whether it's worth getting a strymon or whether these are just fine this is what this video is for in terms of a signal chain it's going the guitar straight into the pedal board in a vox ac15 uh recorded with a rode nt18 about 12 inches away from the cab um going straight into an interface and into logic and into your ear so hopefully this is helpful for some of you. Um, yeah, here is a video. Please enjoy. Hi again, so in the room while I was doing it, the main thing I noticed was um, the Strymon Zuma handled the RE20 delay, the, the, the delay pedal, so much better than the others. You know, you couldn't hear that uh, that LED click, that kind of weird kind of swooshing sound that it would make. Um, but the other two, you know, that was really evident straight away that you could hear that swooshing sound. Any other differences? I don't know, I couldn't personally tell. Um, or certainly not a huge amount, um, not drastic. Um, again, your violin mileage may vary. Um, you know, if you've got loads of Strymon effects, you know, a timeline um, or, you know, higher milliamp uh, pedals, then you'll need a better power supply. But people who are using Boss power supplies, uh, or Boss pedals rather, the cheap ones would probably be all right. Um, it's kind of thing because I've got the RE twenty. It does have that annoying trucing sound, which the Strymon just eliminates, which is class. Um, but I, I hope this is helpful for anyone who's got a similar kind of board. I imagine a lot of people do have, you know, similar boards. You know, six, eight, ten pedals that are all kind of compact, not uber fancy, and you're thinking, oh, should I spend the more money on the uh, Strymon power supply? 
hopefully this has helped. Um, it certainly helped me researching this just for myself. So um, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks very much.